team back to the classroom starting in March. The vote tonight from the Jefferson County School Board 4 to 3 to return in person instruction. Hi everybody, thanks for joining us. I'm Doug Prophet, but there were some late changes to this initial plan, including sending elementary students back on a hybrid model. In the past hour, Superintendent Marty Polio also responded to the vote. At the time I did want I wanted elementary students in 5 days a week. That was my decision and that was my recommendation, but I can also um, understand the hybrid model and, and the need to want to have less kids in the school and I'm excited that we're going back to school. The vote means kids will be returning to classrooms on a staggered schedule starting with the elementary students the third week of March then middle and high school students as you can see are going to return after spring break. Now the night team's Tyler Emery covered debate that lasted more than three hours and Tyler it was clear some members really struggled with this decision. You could see it on their faces. Doug, absolutely. It was the most emotional board vote that I've ever seen, with some members clearly in tears when finally stating that yes or no on the decision to reopen classrooms. If you missed it, you can see it here. An obvious display of how difficult this decision was, with some saying tonight's decision was a matter of life and death. Ultimately, for those voting no tonight, there was a major concern for lack of equity in the district's reopening plan, saying it doesn't account for the students most impacted by the year now almost spent outside of the classrooms. Concern about the plan as it has been presented is that it does not prioritize the children who are most vulnerable. The children who have most consistently been failed by JCPS. For those who voted in favor of reopening, they say the impact on students' mental health, learning deficiencies, and lack of connections were all reasons to get kids back into school buildings. And despite some lingering questions about staffing vacancies and the ability to strictly adhere to all of those safety guidelines, those board members who voted yes say they still believe reopening can be done safely. Our kids are hurting. Um, I think that even when you give it 150 percent in the virtual platform. There are a lot of things that cannot be replicated. Now, as for the big change to the plan tonight, elementary students will now return on a hybrid schedule. JCPS had proposed those younger kids return in person five days a week. But there was lots of concerns from board members about overcrowding in classrooms and the ability to social distance in those smaller buildings and on buses. And that was another one of the last sticking points for many board members, which is why they ultimately decided tonight to change from what Dr. Polio had originally recommended. Families, though, Doug, still will be able to choose to to remain on NTI for the remainder of the school year if they want. Well, Tyler, real quickly, Harry, let's go back to that big change you just talked about for the elementary return. What does the hybrid actually mean? How is this going to work? Well, for starters, that hybrid schedule will now impact all students who are choosing to return in person. And what that will mean is schools will be split into half and students will return for in-person instruction two days a week and then go remote for three days of the week that allow for Wednesdays specifically to be an all school building cleaning day. And I will tell you already tonight, I've heard some from some parents of elementary age students who are actually upset and frustrated now that their kids will only be back in school two days as opposed to that originally proposed five days a week, Doug. OK, uh, Tyler, thank you very much. Yes, that last minute change coming tonight, surprising some parents. Again, this meeting started at 6 o'clock, ended after 9 o'clock tonight. The seven member board was split in their vote, and here's how they voted. James Craig, Joe Marshall, Linda Duncan, and Sarah McIntosh all voted yes to return. Diane Porter, Chris Kolb, and Corey Scholl voted no.